Hai semua, Assalamualaikum Selamat datang ke channel Cikgu Rashida Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I'm going to share with all of you how to solve this problem This is uh, from Peter's Laws of Motion So how to solve it Let's redo it Okay first, first of all you must draw, uh, draw all forces acted to this body So we have T1 T2 and also we have a weight the first one identify all forces acted to this body and the second one we transfer to free body diagram free body diagram how to draw the free body diagram We have T2, T1, and we the angle here is sixty degrees, and the angle here is fifty degrees because. If you draw like this, the angle here is equals angle here and here also. Same here. Okay, that's all for free body diagram. <coughs> and if we have the angle, so we must resolve T2 and T1 into X and Y component. So T2 cos 60 degrees and here T2 sine 60 degrees and here T1 cos 50 degrees and here T1 sine 50 degrees Okay, that's all for free body diagram. Okay, the third one. We transfer forces into table. So this one is force. X component and Y component. So we substitute all T1, T2 and weight. This one is net force in component X and here net force in component Y. So when the object is in equilibrium, so for both component is equals to zero. So we use Newton first law. Okay, we substitute all T1 is T1 to the left. So T1 cos 50 degrees negative and Y component T1 sin 50 degrees or T2 T2 cos 60 degrees because to the right 
and t to sine 50 degrees upward forward going downward so negative 80 newton <coughs> so how to get this uh, summation force in component x so number 4 we calculate the summation force in component x is equals to 0 so negative t1 cos 50 degrees plus t2 cos 60 degrees equals to 0 so we t1 cos 50 degrees equals to t2 cos 60 degrees this one is equation 1 so we next we do equation equation 2 equation 2 we can we will get from y component so net force in y component equals to 0 so t1 sine 50 degrees plus t2 sine <coughs> 60 actually t2 the angle is 60 degrees okay plus negative 80 equals to 0 so t1 sine 50 degrees equals to 80 minus t2 sine 60 degrees so we need second equation so how to solve it we can substitute or we can divide so I choose to divide number five step number five we divide equation one equation two divide equation one So T1 sine 50 degrees divide T1 cos 50 degrees equals to 80 minus T2 sine 60 degrees over T2 cos 60 degrees. So we can cancel T1, T1 and then we get sine 50 degrees over cos 50 degrees. It can be tangent 50 degrees equals to 80 minus T2 sine 60 degrees over T2 cos 60 degrees and then we can rearrange we get the T2 the answer for T2 is 54.75 and then uh, we substitute into any one equation 1 or equation 2 so as I substitute t2 into equation 1 substitute t2 equals to 54.75 newton into equation 1 so 
51 cos 50 degrees equals to 54.75 cos 60 degrees. So we rearrange and we get T1 is 42.56 Newton. This one is T1. So we finish answer this question. Thank you.